So, so far, what we've seen in the demo has been the actual creation and alteration of the code itself in the inner loop and the application of the outer loop using Tecton and Argo CD. Now that's the end to end process in terms of actually changing the code and deploying it to production systems and, and the like. But what we're going to see now is automated processing and deployment to other environments. In the next phase of the demo, we're going to show the creation and deployment to mobile devices and the creation of edge devices or edge operating systems and the deployment of the application to it using Ansible. You're also going to see some fantastic new technology called Tecton Pipelines as Code, which is an easier way to actually orchestrate and build the pipelines and tie it into the source code repositories themselves. So with that in mind, I'll now pass you over to Jafar, who will then pass you on to Anshul to show you those two features of the demo. So in the previous section, we've seen how we can build our e-commerce application with OpenShift and test it uh, and deploy it to multiple uh, environments. And in this section, we are going to focus on the mobile version of our e-commerce application. So as we can see here on the right, we have a hybrid application, meaning that it's composed of web, uh, a web application, but it also has uh, native capabilities. So for example, here it's running on an Android emulator and it could also run on, a, an, on an iOS device. So what we are going to do here is we're going to make some code changes to our application and trigger the pipeline that is taking care of building the mobile app and deploying it uh, on OpenShift for testing purposes. So let's go ahead and make some changes to our code base. And as soon as we do that, uh, this should trigger a new instance of the, the pipeline that we can see just here. So in fact, the, uh, the, the pipeline is fetching the code, building the application, then deploying it on OpenShift. And because this is a, a web application uh, or a hybrid application, we have the ability to um, publish the application on OpenShift directly to make it accessible for the developers for their testing purposes. And so we can see here that we have the application running uh, on OpenShift which is exactly the same application as the one we had running in the emulator. So another uh, nice feature that we wanted to show you here is the bi-directional integration we have between OpenShift and most of the uh, source code repositories. And namely in our case, it's going to be uh, GitHub. So we can see directly from the application source code repository, all of the iterations of the pipelines that have been run on OpenShift. And thanks to this bi-directional integration directly from GitHub, we can get to all the uh, previous runs. We can see the results directly in the GitHub pages, and we can access detailed information on each and every step of the pipelines, as we can see here by checking the logs directly to OpenShift. So this is a very nice capability that allows us to provide all the information from the OpenShift pipeline runs directly into the source code repository, making it easier to understand what happened with our CI CD testings. All right, so that concludes the, the mobile CI CD capabilities. And we're going now to see how Ansible uh, allows us also to extend our delivery options to even further devices like edge devices.